Once upon a time in a peaceful village nestled among rolling green hills lived a wise elder named Master Li. Master Li was known for his endless wisdom and ability to help people find true peace in their lives. He had spent years studying ancient teachings and philosophies delving deep into the mysteries of the human spirit. One day a young villager named Mei approached Master Li seeking guidance on finding inner peace. Mei was always restless constantly seeking outer validation and accumulating material possessions in the hopes of finding happiness. However as time passed she realized that true happiness had eluded her. Seeking solace she turned to Masterly hoping to discover the secret to finding genuine peace within herself. Masterly welcomed Mei with a warm smile and listened to her concerns attentively. He explained to her that true peace could never be obtained through external means. Peace is not something you can find out there in the world Masterly said gently. True peace comes from within. Intrigued May inquired how she could cultivate such inner peace. Master Li advised her to let go of her attachments and desires as they were the root causes of her restlessness. He explained that when one constantly seeks validation from outside sources they become trapped in a cycle of never-ending dissatisfaction. Instead he encouraged Mei to embark on a journey of self-reflection and self-acceptance. Master Li shared inspiring stories of individuals who had found true peace by embracing their inner selves. He spoke of a wise old sage who had relinquished his material possessions finding contentment in a simple life immersed in nature. He narrated tales of monks who had abandoned worldly pursuits to meditate and find solace in the depths of their minds. These stories resonated deeply with May igniting a desire to embark on her own quest for inner peace. With Master Li's guidance May began adopting a more mindful approach to life. She started by decluttering her physical space getting rid of objects that held no emotional value or served as mere status symbols. As the burdens of materialism lifted she felt a newfound lightness within. Next May delved into meditation and mindfulness practices under Master Li's tutelage. Through regular meditation she learned to observe her thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. Gradually she discovered a calmness and clarity that had previously eluded her. As May progressed on her journey she encountered challenges and setbacks. However Master Li reminded her that true peace was not about avoiding difficulties but rather embracing them with grace and resilience. He taught her the importance of self-compassion and forgiveness both for herself and others recognizing that holding on to grudges only perpetuated inner turmoil. Over time May's understanding of true peace expanded beyond herself. She realized that harmony and peace radiated outward when individuals found it within themselves. Inspired by this revelation she decided to share her newfound wisdom with others just as Master Li had done with her. May began holding meditation workshops and spreading teachings on inner peace. She emphasized the importance of self-reflection letting go of attachments and living authentically. The villagers too started nurturing their inner selves realizing that true happiness lay not in the external world but within their own hearts. As the village embraced the lessons of true peace the atmosphere transformed. Kindness understanding and unity replaced judgment competition and strife. 
The villagers discovered the joy of connecting on a deeper level supporting and uplifting one another. May's journey had come full circle. She realized that in helping others find peace within themselves she had found her own deepest sense of fulfillment. Guided by the wisdom of Master Li she understood that true peace was not an elusive destination but an ongoing practice a continuous journey of self-discovery and growth. And so in this quaint village the harmonious pursuit of true peace from within flourished proving that the greatest gift we can give ourselves and the world is the cultivation of peace in our own hearts.